Hey everybody, this is the Scotsman with Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. We just wanted to do a little video on if you had a valve that was leaking by, wasn't seating, or whatever the case is, uh, you had some water leaking out of the pipe, how to weld this thing up. Now there's a few different techniques and ways to do this. Sometimes you're allowed to put some stuff inside the pipe, dam it up. You could preheat it depending on how much water's coming out and uh, depending on what metal it is to kind of dry it up some and then put the root in the bottom. But uh, we're just gonna show you how to weld this thing out like it is. Real fast, we just wanted to mention this Scotsman tungsten sharpener, how good it works. All of our students use them. We all use them out in the field and uh, they're real handy. And as you can see how quick it sharpens from blunt to sharp, uh, it works really good. And uh, it's dust free. It's got a clear lens on the top, keep you from debris. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys that real quick. All right, here we go. So the trick to this, is uh, where you start up at and uh, uh, adjusting your amps once you get into the water. So when he first starts out, he's going to be on the other side working down into the water. What this does is it's going to heat it up and uh, just basically boil the water out of the way. You'll see it. It'll start to smoke. And uh, everything that you see coming up on the inside, that's the water boiling off the back of that puddle. That's not porosity. So... Uh, Take a good look at what's going on in here. We're gonna do some close-ups of the arc shots, but you'll see it start to steam and it's boiling right now. And uh, once you get into the puddle, once you get into the water, you're gonna need somebody to turn you up about 25 amps. So what you gotta watch out for is once you get into the water, if you don't turn the amps up, the water is gonna cool down that puddle and it'll, you'll have trouble keeping the arc lit even the puddle, you know, liquid, it's going to try to cool the puddle down so far as it's just going to go out. Uh, the key here is to keep the tungsten at an angle relative to the wire on the inside of the pipe and it at a forward progressive motion. So if any does, any water does sneak around the back of that puddle, it's falling out the pipe and falling not into the arc. So it, there's some tricks to it. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but it can be done and it is possible but it is uh it's so cool to watch this water come around that puddle it, it usually once it gets really close to that arc it's it's vaporized so you're not really having to worry about it too much and you know the steam rises so it's it's going away from the arc uh since you're welding up the bottom first this whole situation reminds me of the true story of the college student who was 20 minutes late for class and he copied the two math problems down off the board assuming they were the homework assignment and took him several days to finish thought he was late ended up putting him on the professor's desk and uh, later on the next week the professor shows up at his dorm all excited the thing George didn't know about those two problems was that they were mind teasers that even Einstein wasn't able to answer and uh, they had put them on the board for them to give him a try but you know because George was working without any thoughts of limitation he had able to was able to solve two problems that stumped mathematicians for thousands of years simply put George solved the problems because he didn't know he couldn't now I was just up at Fab Tech in Atlanta this year and uh, they had a guest speaker for one of the uh, industry night Steve Spurrier you know he was a player hall of fame and a coach hall of fame and uh, he, he even quoted he said all things are possible to him who believes and furthermore uh, this goes right back into the story that you know you have a, a, a tremendous amount of potential within you and you're pretty much quite capable of doing anything you set your mind to all you have to do is make up your mind to do it not whether or not if you can or not and once you've made up your mind it's amazing how you can figure things out and and what your potentials are in life so uh, be encouraged and uh, stay tuned for more good videos